Hi, this is Olivier Bloch from uh, Microsoft Open Technologies and uh, you might have uh, heard that sentence a lot uh, but I can tell you this time it's um, it's true. I'm really excited that today Microsoft Open Technologies announced uh, the Connect Common Breach which is a, a wrapper that comes on top of the Connect for Windows SDK and that allows to very easily integrate all the magic of Connect in your uh, creative development framework or library or something like that. So this um, this Connect Common Bridge is an open source project you can now find on um, GitHub and you can go to the uh, website aka.ms slash connect common bridge uh, to find the code. The other part that is really exciting is that these, um, this wrapper, this Connect Command Bridge, actually is already being used uh, by two very popular and used um, creative development frameworks and toolkits, uh, Open Frameworks and Cinder. Um, the, um, we, we work very closely with uh, the two communities and uh, with the Connect for Windows team to integrate the Connect Common Bridge into uh, Open Frameworks and Cinder. And what I want to show you is a couple of demos of how, on, on, of, of how that looks like to integrate connect into uh, these uh, these creative frameworks so I have here Raphael uh, my son was uh, delighted actually and the more excited myself uh, to play around with uh, these new tools so this is an open framework application and uh, it actually shows some uh, mesh extrude uh, and uh, it has been integrated, the Connect experience has been integrated very simply in there. So you can see Raphael can move his hands and so on, and you have this nice effect here. Let's um, check out another uh, quick demo. And, and this one actually will use the IR sensor of uh, the Connect device. So Raphael, if you want to come close here, uh, we can see the IR data of Connect sensor that has been used in that Open Framework application. Okay, let's see another one now. Another very cool one, actually. This one is called Fireflies. And Fireflies is about playing around with some colors um, around. So, hey, Rafael. So, the Connect uh, sends the data. The application detects the, the, the motions. And, uh, and if it's very simple code, um, you can animate these objects using Open Frameworks. Awesome. If you bring the colors together, let me show you. Yeah, nice. This is a really great application, and uh, it's it's very simple actually to integrate Connect using the Connect command bridge. Uh, the last the last couple demos I would like to show are apps um, developed with Cinder, uh, another uh, creative development framework, uh, and uh, this time I'll be the one playing around with them. So uh, thanks, Raphael. Now it's my turn. So the first one I'm showing you is uh, this app that tracks um, my skeleton and face. So I need to do this little trick here uh, so you can see the, what's going on. There you go. So here I am, and this is my skeleton. You can see it could dance, and you can see my face uh, that is tracked with the Connect data. And I'm speaking, you can also see the mouse moving so I can uh, uh, open widely sorry um, uh, I can do the monster while it's uh, Halloween time so I could actually put some shape on top of that uh, let's play with uh, another one which I also think is, is pretty cool let's go there and it's called particle app and so the particle app consists in aggregating these little tiny colored particles around my ship and my body. So connect to text my movements is where I am. Let me stop moving. It aggregates everything there. It creates that weird shape. And if I move, you can see these particles following the body in a very nice way. So this is where when you're a genius of uh, physics uh, formulas and so on, you can create these really nice things. And when you're using Cinder and you're using uh, open frameworks, um, actually, as a simple developer, uh, you can do these very amazing things. So, go ahead, knock yourself out, go develop these really nice creative applications, leveraging Connect, uh, leveraging Cinder, and uh, Open Framework support for Connect uh, uh, using the the Connect Common Bridge. Uh, once again, you can find. Let me bring that page back for the links. 
you can find uh, the Connect Common Bridge code itself at aka.ms slash Connect Common Bridge. And you can also find more information about the Connect Common Bridge open source project on Connect Common Bridge uh, blog. So aka.ms slash Connect Common Bridge blog. Uh, so thanks a lot to the open frameworks and student communities uh, when we worked closely with um, conjunction with the Connect for Windows team. Uh, we hope to have even greater examples code to show real soon. Uh, so stay tuned and come back to uh, the channel line um, channel and to our msopentech.com blog. Thank you very much.